Guys, so today we're gonna go and ride the Kani Kani Express. We're gonna go up north about an hour and a half to two hours. We're gonna get picked up and we're gonna go to a fancy hotel and eat a lot of crab. Kani in uh, Japanese is crab. So let's go and eat some crab. Now we're waiting for the train to come to take us on the Kani Kani Express and uh, so we can eat some crab. So it should be some good times. Got another 10 minutes waiting at the train stop. Check it out, they're warning that you can't use selfie sticks because may cause accident, risk of electric shock, may injure others. It looks like this person has a halo on their head. Yeah. Sonia is waiting for the train to come. Alright guys, let's get on this train. So once again, this is an express train, so as you can see, the seats are a lot fancier. Alright guys, so we're now on the train. And as you can see, I have a pretty nice view. Um, we're going to be on it for about two hours. We're going up to Kinosaki Onsen, which is a famous uh, hot spring area in Japan. And then from there, we're going to ride a local train one stop, and they're going to take us to our hotel to eat all this delicious crab so hope it's worth it it's about 120 bucks a piece yeah it's like you're in an airplane almost in these things they got the the drop down trays with your standard cup holder etc right they got bins over here so you can put your stuff all right guys, so while we're on the train, I figure I might as well give you a quick story about it. Um, so this is going to be our third time, or rather my third time going um, on this like Kani Kani Express, this crab train extravaganza, whatever. Uh, I can tell you the first time they actually lost a reservation for like half of it. So what I mean by that is we rode the train, we got to the destination, but the guy who's supposed to come and like pick us up um, did not come and we had to call them and there was this big hassle. But in the end, it actually worked out because they gave us more crab to kind of supplement the whole sorry, we forgot all about you. Um, here, there's basically three different plans. You got the cheapest plan, um, and by and large, all these plans, they do include the train fare, so it's like a, it's a complete package, right? Train to the destination, pick up from the train station to the restaurant slash hotel, and then back to the train station, back to your original hometown. It's like a set package. There's usually three different um, sets. One is the cheapest, which tends to be about 80 bucks per person. Um, and then you have the second plan, which is like 120. And then you have the third plan, which just explodes all of a sudden. And it could be 250 to $300 per person. And those usually include like the really rare crab that maybe the area can only get like 100 per season or something ridiculous like that. Um, we tend to get the middle plan, so this costs us about 120 bucks per person. Um, now since Sonia, my daughter, is less than four years old, like the train fare is free and uh, we don't actually have to pay for her food because we're going to be basically giving her some of our food. So that's good too. So we just got to get the two adult tickets for 120 a pop. And, uh, you know, personally, uh, you know, I'm originally from a, the, the Crab State, right? I'm from Maryland. Um, and uh, I will tell you that I prefer the crabs in Maryland versus the crabs in Japan. I thought the taste was going to be similar, but then I come here and I find out that it's actually vastly different. So that's something to keep in mind. Still good, just not, personally speaking, not as good. Now what we're expecting to see here is we're going to see a lot of different crab foods. It's going to be boiled, fried, nabe style, which is basically uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of crab in a pot. We're going to eat that. Um, there is actually also going to be crab brains, which I will not be eating, no thank you, uh, as well as some other amenities and foods as well. So let's go and find out. So right now we are at Kinosaki Station. We're waiting for our next train, which will be riding shortly, only one stop, and then we will be eating that delicious crab. Oh yeah. Kinosaki Station. So as you can see over there is basically for handicapped people, emergency, etc. Um, you can see we got some 
a little bit of a downgrade from the previous train. Let's go get some crab! Guys, so now we're gonna go ride in that blue car over there with that guy. He's gonna take us to eat a crab. Hi guys, we finally have a ride. Let's go and eat some crab. So I'm wearing this giant crab thing. Yeah. We're in our private room and they set up the first course of our crab. As you can see, we have two very big looking crabs. We have the nabe over here. We have a lot of like crab legs, vegetables, etc. We got this amazing view we have as well of the ocean. Pretty nice. Okay, so I uh, ripped off one of its legs. I don't really know how how to do this. Hey guys, what's up? Ripping it out. Very, very nice. And they also give you these like pick things that you're supposed to kind of dig with. Check this out, now we are fried. Crab has came and it looks really nice. It's very nice. Mm. Very nice. Next menu has came out as you can see it is fried crab. Take that with this like fried leafy thing. I don't know if this is crab or not actually. Mm. It was mushroom. <laughs> Lovely. Look what it tastes like. Mmm, very soft and very delicious. Mmm, dessert, this uh, shoe cream dessert that they had in the freezer. Huh? Mmm. Just eating that crab, and now we're down on the first floor, and Sonia is playing. Sonia, what are you doing? Sonia, nice. Ishi is stone. Okay, so we finished eating the crab and we went back to Kinosaki. Um, this is a big hot spring town, so we're gonna walk around and hopefully eat some good stuff. So let's go. We are now in Kinosaki, which is famous for their hot springs, crab, you name it. Really old town in Japan. Definitely check it out. Famous for crab, as you can see. Uh, they pretty much sell it everywhere. Lots of souvenirs you can buy. Check out all these crabs. They're selling the individual crab legs for anywhere between 40 to 65 bucks a piece. All right, guys. So we're still walking around Kirosaki. We're about to go to an ice cream shop, get some delicious ice creams, and then uh, head back home. Hopefully. So now we're finally arrived. This is the famous ice cream shop here let's go and eat some delicious stuff as you can see they have a pretty extensive menu so i got a using royal vanilla uh, ice cream i got them to make me a shake i absolutely love shakes mm. quality stuff uh, usually i get my shakes from uh, baskin robbins which they actually call 31 here but this one this one's significantly better Fucking a royal milk vanilla. Mm. Yeah. Her own, uh, ice cream over here. Uh, you know what? Just keep the drinking going. Next up is gonna be a mango shake. Good stuff. Got my mango shake. I believe there's also uh whatchamacallit? Peaches in here as well. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad, but as good as I was hoping. Hi right, guys, I think it's gonna wrap up my video for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it. So we did a lot of things. We went, we ate crab, two hours going, two hours coming back. And now we got these like uh, delicious chicken and makazushis that I'm not gonna be eating. Um, so good stuff. So if you have any questions about this video or any of my videos, feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right guys, thanks for watching. Bye.